Well, that's good. Um, I just wanted to talk about uh, you know, about what's going on with you. You know, you know. Uh, so now we have to get it. You know, there are a lot of facial pain syndromes, and so I'm starting out with the objectives of what I'm not going to talk about. So, you know, there's geniculate, I mean, there's a whole list of them. There, there are geniculate neuralgia, occipital neuralgia, sphenopalatine ganglia, and ophthalmic pain, masticatory disorders, and we got, uh, you. that's one of the things you had. You know, there's NECO, the, the uh, necrosis around root canals in the jaw that's sometimes very difficult to diagnose. Uh, phthalmic pain, uh, vascular pain syndromes, including migraines, sinusitis, and I've seen all of this in people who've been diagnosed with, quote, trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, of course, neoplasia, all kinds of cancers, and usually I see more of that in patients who have glossopharyngeal neuralgia. That's an important uh, distinction to rule out cancer pain when they have throat pain. And then psychogenic idiopathic. You know, in the books they lump all these together, but post-traumatic psychopathic, psychopathic pain, somatic somatization syndromes. They all. And after you have trigeminal neuralgia for a while, you think you're crazy anyway. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to distinguish the two sometimes. And and the other part about uh, so if you if you have one of these pain syndromes, I'm not the guy to see. Okay, because microvascular decompression or for that matter, gamma knife or radiofrequency lesions, it's really not going to help you at all. So these are some of the neurologists that I work with. The Methodist Neurological Institute neurologist, the Neurology Center, um, and, um, and then uh, Dr. Norris, who's independent. You know, these are all folks that, that I send patients to for additional workup if I see them. And then there are a few oral surgeons I work with, and of course, there are dentists. Uh, there are a number of dentists around town. About ten years ago, I sent a questionnaire out to every dentist in Harris County. And surprisingly, it was a fax. I got there. I mean, it's like a couple of thousand of them. I faxed it to their office. Here's a questionnaire. Fax back. And the, the question questions were: Do you treat trigeminal neuralgia? Surprisingly. A large number of them said that they did, which it's kind of outside the realm of dentistry, you know, I mean, really. Then the next thing is those that did, you know, treat, they did treat it with the right drugs, but then they said they treated it with splints and, and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, that's not trigeminal neuralgia. So there's a real, and this is a very important venue, not only to educate patients who have trigeminal neuralgia, but to educate healthcare professionals about trigeminal neuralgia because even many neurologists don't understand it. I sent a similar questionnaire to neurologists and one of the questions I asked them was what percentage of trigeminal neuralgia patients, classic tic dolero patients, would end up having some surgical procedure in the course of their disease and their response was 25 percent and that's absolutely the wrong way. 25 percent will not have it. But so many neurologists, as you know, see patients, or, and I, I see this, they, they see patients, they put them on medications, the medications fail, it's, it's a very driving force, as you know, to find a cure for your illness. <coughs> they then find a surgeon who can fix their pain, they get their pain fixed, and the neurologist thinks, oh, well, you know, they're one of those five percenters who took medicine for a while, their pain went away, and... They never needed anything else done because they're lost to the follow up. So uh, these folks really know about facial pain syndromes and about trigeminal neuralgia and know the, the options of what to do with it. Let's see here. One way or the other, we're going to get the next slide. Uh, trigeminal neuralgia, here we go. Okay, so the thing about Trigeminal neuralgia is there's no test. I can't I can't order a test that'll say, ah, you've got trigeminal neuralgia. You can send you down to the x-ray department, come back, and the radiologist says, bingo, trigeminal neuralgia. 